trigonometric equation. I am Anil Kumar and here is a very important trigonometric equation which we are going to solve. Most important is the concept which we are going to deal with while solving this trigonometric equation. It is 2 sine 2x minus square root 3 equals to 0 and the domain is from 0 to 2 pi. We can bring the terms together and we can write this as 2 sine the equation is this, right? So right side take square root 3, so we get 2 sine 2x equals to square root of 3 and sine 2x equals to square root of 3 divided by 2. Now you know the special triangle which can help you to find this solution and the special triangle is, as you know, the sides 1, 2, square root 3 sine square root 3 we are looking for a positive side of this angle which is pi by 3. So the acute angle here is pi by 3. Now important thing to check here is the domain. Domain is x greater than 0 and less than 2 pi. But for us we have sine of 2x. So we have to multiply this by 2. So we get here less than equals to I mean instead of 2 pi it becomes 4 pi. Multiply each individual by 2. So that becomes the modified domain. You get the point. So the whole idea here is that we have to look for the values within 0 to 4 pi for sine 2x. Then the solution will be between 0 to 2 pi. So the first step we have already done and that is we found that angle as acute angle pi by 3. Now when we are saying sine is positive we know we are looking for these two solutions. This is also pi by 3, correct? So we have to report the prime principal angle, correct? So the solutions for this equation is, let me write very clearly, this is kind of most important before you get into really solving trigonometric equations, right? So when we have this and that too within the interval, which could be written like this also, 0 to 4 pi, that means two circles. So what we get here is that the 2x is equals to pi by 3, the first round, and that is this much, which is 2 pi by 3, right? And then we have to go like this, 2 pi plus pi by 3, to get the point. 2 pi plus pi by 3, so this is 2 pi plus pi by 3, so 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1, 7, so we get 7 pi by 3. And then, then the other one will be this much more than this, right? So 7 pi by 3, we have 7, I mean, you understand. So it is one more round from 2 pi by 3. So you could have 2 pi by 3 plus 2 pi, correct? So when you do that, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. So we get 8 pi by 3. So these are the four solutions which you get for 2x, what is x equals to, divide each by 2, pi by 6, 2 pi by 3 divided by 2 will be pi by 3, 7 pi by 6, and 8 pi by, so it gets 4 pi by 6, do you get the idea? So these are the four solutions for us. Remember, whenever you are working with compound angles, double angles, multiple angles, the domain changes. Now you can very clearly see the solution for x is within 0 to 2 pi and you have four different solutions. Another way to look into it is kind of like this. When we say sine 2x, then we have two sine waves in, in 2 pi. So that is 2 pi for us. And this is sine 2x. We are looking for a value, which is how much? The value is some positive value, right? So that gives us these four solutions. So that is how you should look into it and understand. I hope that makes things very clear for you. Let's move forward and prepare for our test. Thank you and all the best.